Hey guys, welcome back. Today's tutorial is going to be on this makeup look that I have on my face right here. Also, pointing out the obvious, I have a different background. This isn't going to be my permanent background. I obviously have more to do with it, but I just moved recently with Christian, so I'm trying to figure all this out with my vanity and just lighting and everything like that. So just be patient and bear with me. I wanted to film something for you guys though because that wasn't going to stop me. So again, just ignore it and I will figure it out sometime soon. But anyways, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. Of course, if you guys are wondering how I got this makeup look, then you can go ahead and just keep on watching. And also this hair tutorial is linked down below in a separate video if you guys are wondering how I got these little beachy, crazy waves right here. So my face feels really, really dehydrated right now, so I'm just using my Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer and just rubbing that in all over my skin before we get started. I'm gonna do my eyes first before I do the rest of my face just because I don't want any fallout to fall onto my foundation. And so I'm gonna use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just blend it in using my Beauty Blender. It's just super quick and easy and it just makes sure that it gets all over the lid evenly. And to set my eyeshadow, I'm just using this Cody Airspun. It's literally like $5 at Walmart to set my primer just to make sure it all goes on super even. I think I'm just gonna do like a glittery, like smoky eye cut crease type thing, like a halfway cut crease. Um, so I'm going to jump into my Violet Boss Laura Lee palette. And I think for my transition shade, I'm gonna use the color um, Fried right here. Since I'm making it like a halfway cut crease, I'm just gonna focus most of the darkness right here on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Bubs right here, which is just like a light, like a medium gray color. I wanna make it more cool tones rather than warm tones. So I'm just gonna use that one, focus it out here on the outer corner. I'm just going to blend that out using my Morphe M504, which is just a clean, and the only reason this brush is clean is because it's brand new. I never clean my makeup brushes, oops. Well, let's be real, nobody ever has time to clean their makeup brushes. To darken it up even more, I'm using the color Lou right here, again on the outer corner. So now to cut the crease, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to put like a dot. And if I need more, I'll get more, but it's better to have less than to have too much. And I'm going to blend it in using the Sigma E55 brush. Glitter on the lid, I'm sure you guys can already guess this because I use it every time. It's the Cila Magnificent Metals in the color Kitten Karma. And I'm just putting this on all over where I put that cut crease. Wing, I just used my NYX Liquid Matte Liner. It's my favorite one. It's like $5 from Ulta. I normally don't do this on camera, but I'm going to attempt to. And if it sucks, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. So for lashes, I'm of course going to be using my Ardell lashes because Honestly, I do not pay more than $6 for a pair of lashes because A, they get thrown away, and B, sometimes I mess them up so I have to throw them away. So like, why bother spend like $30 on a pair of lashes that you're just gonna rip off and throw away? I get that you can wear them like more than once, but still, it's just not worth it. So these ones are the Studio Effect Wispies. Now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm gonna use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. For foundation, I'm using two, and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade 3.5, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 3N1 Ivory Beige. Thing in. Concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair Neutral. And just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. Set all that concealer, I'm just using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For the rest of my face, I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the lighter shade of the two. 
using the darker physician's formula butter bronzer to sculpt my face a little bit I actually contour my cheekbones I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just going to use these two shades right here using the NYC color wheel I don't know what color it is I literally like rubbed off the back of it so it's just the really really pink one and it's really pretty now for highlight I'm gonna use my wet and wild mega glow highlighting power powder in the color precious petals moving on to brows which is my least favorite part ever. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I really hate brows, guys. I suck at them. I hate them. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Black Liner on my waterline. For mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. It's my absolute favorite one. If you guys haven't tried it, it's seriously the best mascara I've ever used in my entire life. Considering I've tried a lot of high-end mascaras, that says a lot. I almost just forgot I need to highlight my inner corner. So I'm just doing that with the same highlighter that I used. For lips, I'm gonna use my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Natural. This is my favorite nude lip liner in the whole entire world. It's like $5. I'm just gonna go in with my MAC lipstick in the color Japanese Maple. My makeup's all done and I'm going to curl my hair, but I'm actually going to film a tutorial of me doing that. So I'll be back whenever it's all done. If you guys want to see that, I'm going to link the video down below as soon as I upload it. And so this is a finished look that I came up with. I finished curling my hair. Like I said, it's going to be in a separate tutorial down below linked. If you guys want to see that, click it, go like it, go watch it, go learn from it, whatever you want to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you want to see anything else, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!